All right, let's take a quick look at the Bamboo Studios. This isn't meant to be an in-depth uh, walkthrough, but just a quick look and overview of what the features look like and what the interface is like. So this is the main uh, landing page. When you open up the software, you have a recently opened uh, down here at the bottom. You can see the projects that you've opened. You have this little uh, promotional Bamboo Christmas Cabin project. You have new project. Uh, open an existing project. You've got your account up here in the left uh, and also a user manual um, with some additional information. Now we can go to the prepare tab. Prepare is where you're going to bring in your files. You're going to set all your settings and you can do your slicing. So we'll bring something in right now. I'm going to bring in a calibration cube that I threw together. So there it is. It'll come in by default as the first filament in your AMS setup. Uh, so all the tools available are add an STL file, add a build plate. You can also remove build plates directly on the, the interface there. You can auto orient. You can arrange all the objects. You can split to objects. You can split to parts. You can do some variable layer heights, so you can change the, the layer heights as you go. Um, you can also move them, move your object in the XYZ coordinates. You can rotate. So all the standard features you get in a slicer, uh, you can scale it. You can do a control Z to bring it back. You can lay on a face. So you can choose a different face for it to lay on. You can split the model. So if I perform a cut here, I just split it in half, do a control Z twice to bring it back. You can do some support painting, which blocks out areas where you don't want supports to be. You can do some brush shape. You can do some text. I don't know how to manipulate this in a way to get the results that I want yet, but you can play around with it. If I add the test here. Puts it right on top. Do a control Z again to get rid of that. And then you can paint. So you can paint with either a brush or some of these other tools. So I'll erase all painting, but you have a bunch of different tools here, a circle, a sphere, a triangle, a height range. So you can paint with some layers. Also change how thick that layer band is. You can also do a fill. So pretty traditional fill brush, uh, but you can also change the angles that it'll go over. So 90 degrees is just going to paint everything. I like the look of having these letters in black and the yellow is actually a gold filament that I've got in there right now. So I'll leave that that way. Then you got some assembly view stuff, which I'm not super familiar with yet. So I'll leave that to you and return. So now we have something on our build plate that we're happy with. We can slice it. So we've sliced it and now you can see the flow calibration at the front of the, the build plate here. So that's these set of lines with this little pattern here. It'll do its flow calibration and then look at it with the LiDAR. You've got your part that you were, you were uh, slicing. So we can go through all those layers and you can see where it's filled in that black as a secondary color. And then you have a purge tower at the back of the, the print here for the multicolor printing to avoid any of those oozing drops coming out between colors. It also gives you a, an outline of the material used uh, material flushed and then the total. So for this one, you've got 13.5 grams is the model. Uh, you've got 46.58 grams that's flushed for a total of 60 grams used. Um, it's going to take a total of two hours and 45 minutes. Uh, seven hours, uh, seven minutes and 25 seconds is the prep time. And the actual model printing time is two hours and 38 minutes. I find that with these multicolor prints, uh, that is a very low estimate 
um, the times actually end up being quite a bit longer. Um, so that's it for the preview. If you send it over to the printer, uh, it'll automatically send you over to this device tab where you can actually see the monitor the status of your device. Um, you can set temperatures, so you can set the heat bed. We'll set 35 for the cool plate and it'll start heating up. You can see it there. Um, you can see the temperature of the chamber, uh, whether your lamp is on. Uh, you can also monitor it live by pressing this play button. So you can also see what the AMS has loaded in it. So right now I have gold, black, white, and a silver. And there you go, that's the live feed of where the bamboo's at. Uh, I can move it, say go home. There you go, it's right in the middle there. Uh, media is where you can find the time-lapse files. So you can download them off of the, the slicer here and you don't have to actually move, uh, transfer the SD card. Uh, here's where you would update if you needed another firmware, uh, currently at the latest version of 01.03.00.00 and HMS. I'm not super familiar with what this tab does yet and I'll have to look into that. And then we have the last tab, which is the project tab. You can add a bunch of information about your project. So the author, the model name, um, some picture files of potentially the, uh, the finished product or the entire assembly put together. Um, a bill of materials, an assembly guide, and just any other miscellaneous files that you might think that are relevant for your project. So that's been a quick introduction to the Bamboo Slicer. But hopefully you learned something through the, uh, through the video here and you liked what you saw. So please give this video a like and a subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.